little bit about yourself. Yes, my name is uh, Johan. I'm 30 years old from Sweden. Uh -huh. I've been living here in Thailand for about seven years now. Oh. And I'm just about to finish my master's degree here at Trondheim University. Okay, thank you. And uh, now the first question is, which fried insect do you like the most? Or have you tried? Yes, I have tried. Mm -hmm. And I must say, I prefer the scorpion. Scorpion? Yes. Uh -huh. That do is quite like, can you? Yeah. What kind of taste? It tastes, it tastes a little bit like shrimps. Um, like the umhang you get on the pad thai. Uh -huh. So it has a similar taste to the shrimp. And the second, what is the first Thai word you learn? Uh, thank you, in Thai. That was the first word. First word. So, um, how is your life in Thailand? different from your home country? Um, biggest difference is the pace uh, of the daily life here. Usually, you wake up quite early. In, in my home country, I usually wake up quite early. Here, I wake up a little bit slower, so maybe a little bit later. And in the end, you don't have time to do as much as I would in my home country. Um, basically, I can manage four or five tasks daily here. Usually, I can manage about 10, 12 tasks in, in Sweden because everything here takes a little bit longer time because it's a, it's a very hot weather here. What have you learned from Thai culture? Respect your elders and uh, family values are the most important thing, which usually I didn't quite, uh, I didn't quite uh, manage that back in my home country. Um, you kind of take your parents for granted that they will always be, be there no matter what, but you also have to show them respect, which is a very important thing here and that we in our home country should learn from. What, what else? Um, Eating, eating street food is one thing that we do not do in Sweden because of the health issues. But when it all comes to, to a conclusion is that the street food is all, almost always better here because it's cooked directly. And um, when you have the bacteria when you have the bacteria stomach for, for food, is no problem at all. Because most, most people that come here, they, they end up a lot sicker in the first two, three days because of the bacteria culture. And they will never ever touch Thai food from the street, which I think is a big mistake because that's basically what Thailand is all about. You can, you can encounter the whole Thai cultural flavors in just a small place, like a small marketplace. And that is also very important that you have to try the local dishes, not in a restaurant, because that, that then you can probably eat it at home. It will taste a bit different, but it will be in the same cooking way. You need this old school cooking style. And do you know the Thai university usually is not valued as a very good university? And why don't why don't you choose? To study in your home country? Uh, first of all, I want to explore the world. Uh, my home country has, uh, Sweden has a quite high reputation when it comes to education, but I wanted to see if there was something else for me out there. The United States is quite expensive and uh, I thought that Thailand was a good option because I wanted to try the, the Asian community um, because, well, China is growing, so I wanted to have a foot inside this, this area of the world as well. And um, I know, of course, that the Thai universities don't have as high quality of education as many other countries but they are growing and they are learning from, from all over the world and it will eventually become as fine education here as it will in the United States, for example. 
Diversific diversification is something that's very important, and there has to be tweets from a, a Thai perspective as well to get a world education. And uh, the next question is, uh, I hope I've asked this question, you don't feel uh, offended. Oh, I hope no, so. I'm yeah, not okay. No, 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 no. Yeah. Uh, can you think of uh, dating a, a Catholic in Thailand? <laughs> um, actually, no. Uh, not because they have been a man, because I know there is a lot of men that has turned out to become 100% girls. So I do understand this kind of community and I do not I have no offense against them at all and they are as much human people as we are and as everyone is sorry as everyone is and um, I just don't know if I would I I they are a bit feisty they have a temper which I don't think I would uh, endure. And basically that's why. So, no. Okay. And the last one is, um, since you have been here like for seven so, years, uh, could you speak Thai? Have you learned some Thai language? Unfortunately, I have not learned to so much that I can speak fluently and I can manage taxi, food, but I have focused all my energy on the English language because in the most this kind of this part of the world, Singapore, Hong Kong, uh, Beijing, they speak very very efficient English. So and yeah, I'm not a native speaker. We speak Swedish in uh, Sweden. So it's kind of important for us, even if we move around in Europe, that we have to be efficient, almost fluent in English. So. No, I regret to say that, no, I haven't learned enough. But you have learned some? Yes. Could you speak some? some? Um, yes. Sorry, ha. Hong Che Johan, Pazat Sweden, Hong Sam City. That's basically what I hear. Pop Thai guy, please. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Thank you.